Workers search by hand, combing through the debris for victims. The hope for survivors? fading fast. As long as we are operating in a rescue mode, which we currently are, the, the hope is there. Even if it's just one more. Safety concerns interrupted their painstaking work. When it resumed, it brought new tragedy. Last night we did discover two additional victims. Tragically, one of those victims was the seven-year-old daughter of a City of Miami firefighter. The fire chief says the work is taking a toll. Unfortunately, you know, we haven't been able to remove any survivors yet, but it's very difficult. And, and last night was even more, you know, when we're removing a fellow firefighter's daughter. Now, a new danger is approaching. A hurricane forecast to reach Florida as soon as Sunday evening. It's just so challenging. So many different obstacles, one after the other. The search is proceeding with extra caution, while engineers assess the part of the building still standing and whether it's at risk of collapsing. Maggie Ramsey's mother, Magali Delgado, lived in the 12-story condominium and was inside when it crashed down in the middle of the night. She came from Cuban 61, worked all her life, um, was really living her best life right now. Uh, she loved being at the beach and um, she loved her two grandchildren. On Thursday night, Ramsey was informed her 80-year-old mother's remains had been identified in the rubble.